Hello, it's Wednesday the 27th. I'm FX Plu and this is the Market Brief. So, where we were getting comfortable that the MPC would cut rates first, and pretty soon too, uh, Catherine Mann piped up again yesterday. She dropped a bit of a bombshell saying that where wage dynamics are stronger and indeed more persistent in the UK, the first rate cut is likely to be after the Fed begin to cut rates. And the wider view is that the Fed is looking at a September rate cut. So if man's chat has any substance, that would dramatically change the outlook for the UK economy. Now, perhaps we should take all this with a pinch of salt because, don't forget, uh, Catherine Mann is the arch hawk of the MPC and she has been championing further rate hikes for pretty much as long as we can remember. Granted, the bank will want to see stronger evidence that inflation is on a secure path lower, but the futures markets still think that the MPC will cut first. They're pricing in a 20% chance of a rate cut in May compared to only a 10% chance from either the Fed or the ECB. As you'd expect, Mann's comments gave Sterling a bit of a boost. Uh, that helped Sterling up to around 126.70 against the dollar. Uh, yesterday um, but where we pulled back to close slightly lower on the day it could very easily all be a bit of a storm in a teacup now over in the US things are a little more settled with the outlook uh, very much focused on the idea of a September rate cut uh, Bostick has been on He's the Atlanta Fed president, um, and he's a little stuck on the idea of three rate cuts this year. Um, however, ignoring the obvious glue-based banter here, he doesn't see the need for more than one rate cut this year, probably because he thinks inflation is a little too sticky. Sorry, couldn't let that one slide. Um, but where core inflation has indeed barely changed over the past couple of months or so, uh, many of the Fed members do want to see more progress being made towards the 2% target, and they are indeed in no hurry to cut rates right now. In the market, the dollar index peaked around 104.30 yesterday, uh, and we kick off this morning, we're around 126.30 against the dollar, about 116.65 against the euro, and euro dollar is around 108.25 on the open. Uh, so that's me done for the week. I'm off for an extra, extra long bank holiday weekend, uh, so I should wish you all a very happy Easter, and of course, see you next Tuesday. If you do not have a clue, then just tweet through and ask FX Blue.